Lucky are those whose heads just touch the pillow and they immediately fall asleep. While many of us are twisting and turning the entire night, waking up so many times that is really causing a lot of disturbance in our sleep. Let me tell you, no amount of diet or food can do the work that sleep does for your body. So sleep is one of the most important lifestyle changes that you need to make if you're struggling in this area. Natural detoxification and healing takes place when you sleep. So when you barely sleep for three to four hours, there's going to be a lot of miscommunication between your cells. And that miscommunication is then seen as hormonal imbalance, irregular periods, migraine. One of the reasons for migraine is not getting enough of sleep. Now, when you sleep, there are different cycles. I'm not getting into the details of it. But one of the sleep is called as REM sleep. And this sleep is where you get into the deep sleep. Um, that is where you start dreaming and there is a higher brain activity that is seen. So researchers have said that when you constantly miss out on REM sleep, it is associated with a higher risk of obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's and dementia. So when you sleep, there is an increase in the release of cerebrospinal fluid, which removes out all the toxins, waste and garbage out of your brain. So that is like a brain detoxification. So no matter how much you brag that three to four hours of sleep is enough for me, I am all fresh the next day. Let me tell you that is going to catch you very soon later on in life. Because when that detoxification doesn't take place in your brain up there, you wake up the next day feeling irritated, grumpy, you're not able to concentrate and simple problems just seem to amplify. They just look so big. So few tips that I would like uh, to share today that would help you uh, if you're struggling uh, with sleep is that first thing you need to fix a time for yourself. Fix a daily uh, schedule when you're going to sleep. If it's 10, 30, 11 or 11, 30, fix a proper time so that no matter what you're going to sleep at that time, daily, a sleep time and a wake up time. So you're setting your internal biological clock. It's called the circadian rhythm. So when you set this, you are automatically going to sleep well. Melatonin production is going to be better. Melatonin is a hormone that's going to put you to sleep. Also make sure that 60 minutes before you sleep, all electronic gadgets are away from you because the blue light interferes with melatonin production and so your sleep. Make sure the lights in your uh, bedroom before going to sleep, they are dim lights because again, melatonin production increases in darkness. So make sure bright lights are not there. We always talk of having light dinners. So having a light dinner and keeping a gap of two hours before you sleep is going to make sure that food is digested and it will help you sleep. Because when you eat very uh, heavy food with a lot of uh, you know spices and masala close to your bedtime and there's barely any gap, you are going to find difficulty in sleeping. If you experience a lot of uh, stress and body tension, you can have a warm water bath with Epsom salt. Epsom salt is known to release and take away all the stress. It's going to de-stress you and calm your mind. Or you can also uh, take a warm water bath with neem leaves or a pinch of nutmeg can be added in the water. So that again is going to calm your brain and give you a good sleep. Drinking chamomile tea 45 minutes before sleep is also very beneficial in calming down and giving you a good night's sleep. So do try all these tips and see how it works for you. Mention in the comments below so that uh, I know how it's uh, working with you. And if there are any queries, you can always write to me or you can mail me. So that was it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and let's work on our sleep if you're not sleeping well. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye bye.